Norbeck, Focus Development. This is a redevelopment of downtown Wheaton. The historic courthouse we're in the process of renovating, and then around it we're putting three buildings of new condos and then 50 townhomes. We've used structural metal studs before with a um, metal deck and poured concrete, and we're looking at a way to be more efficient and save time and worked with our engineer Pat Ford and architect Antunovich and Associates. This is a newer system that Pat had heard about and we looked into it and we liked the option of not having to change subs once we get a floor built. So it became very feasible for us for our scheduling. I think the biggest thing I like about it is that I, my subs don't have to leave the site uh, to put down metal pan decks and then pour concrete. The metal framing contractor can stay on site um, and we can continue the process going so we save time on the schedule and it's one contractor who is performing the work so it's much easier to manage both from a field standpoint and from a paperwork standpoint. In building this building we were trying to come up with a solution of, of how to do leading edge work and basically we, we could establish the parameters of uh, setting up handrails but we wanted to protect the guys from leading edge as they were laying the product and not have to deal with the retractable harnesses that we were concerned guys falling through and, and it not catching them, them swinging and, and hitting, hitting the deck. So in working with RG, we came up with a system of putting in the scaffolding so that as they're leading edge, they're not exceeding the six foot fall rule. So that it's only two feet that they'd fall. So it, it met OSHA's requirement on the leading edge. Jack Pfeiffer for RG Construction out of Elmhurst. This is the first project we've used it on. This is the sixth floor we've done, uh, started on the second floor, so we've got five floors in. I guess what I like about it is, is the fact that we're not held up as a carpentry outfit. We come in, we put this product down, we finish this up, we can start building our walls and sanding them. In the past when we've done plywood and we've done uh, pan decking, there's a delay time in the period between being on this deck and getting back on the next deck after it's been poured. We could be down a week, maybe a week and a half, depending on weather. And like I say, this product, that aspect of it is really good for us. Also, it acts as a diaphragm for this building. It's strong enough to take the stresses that would typically be picked up with that pan decking and the, and the concrete. Again, that's, that's a big plus from the get-go. This product has a tendency the threads won't really hold the product per se and back up. So when you put the screws in, they go down. You can kind of walk it out a little bit and get the screw to come down and hold that product. 